This video is for class 9 physics and we are studying free fall from the topic gravitation and from the chapter laws of motion. In chapter 2, we studied one dimensional motion, the motion of a freely falling body from a height or the motion of a body thrown vertically upwards from the surface of the earth is the one dimensional motion under gravity. The acceleration of a vertically falling body is taken as plus g that is a positive acceleration due to gravity and that of body going vertically upward is negative g which means retardation due to gravity. Let us try to understand this paragraph. Let us consider the surface of the earth and let us consider an object falling down. So when the object falls down, right, it is falling on a straight line, hence it is one dimensional motion. In this scenario, the body falls with certain acceleration known as acceleration due to gravity. But when the same object is thrown upwards, when the same object is thrown upwards, so what happens? The body tends to fall back because the gravity is pulling it back. So here when the body is trying to go up, the acceleration here is taken as minus g, which means the acceleration is in the opposite direction or I can say the body is slowing down. Oh, one more thing about the free fall. Free fall means, free fall, it also means whenever the object is falling down, right, it is falling only under the action of gravity. There is no other force which is pushing it down or no other force which is pushing it upwards. These forces are absent. These forces are absent. There is no other force except the force of gravity, only gravity falling under the action of only gravity. So only gravity is there, only gravity. Right. I hope you understood these two things in the first paragraph. Well, uh, coming to the next paragraph. If a body falls from rest, freely from a height h under the gravity, then u equals to 0 because it was at rest early on. And acceleration a is replaced by g because now acceleration becomes acceleration due to gravity, which I have just explained. Then the equations of motion will take the form as this. Yeah, three equations of motion will take the form as this v equals to gt, h equals to half gt square and v square equals to 2 gh. Let us see how. Okay, the condition given to us was there is an object initially at rest that means u equals to 0 kept at a height h kept at a height h right and it is allowed to fall and it is allowed to fall. So when this object is falling, it will have acceleration which is equal to acceleration due to gravity which is g. So keeping all this in mind, we can change the equations of motion which we know. The standard forms, forms of equation of motion can be changed. So here the distance can be taken as h. The initial velocity will be 0 because the object was initially at rest and wherever I have to use acceleration, I have to use acceleration due to gravity. So taking the first uh, equation of motion which is uh, v equals to u plus a t, we all know right now know that u becomes 0 and a becomes g, u becomes 0 and a becomes g. So putting the values of u and a in the equation, we shall get v equals to 0 plus g t, hence we are getting v equals to gt which is the first equation. Now the second one which is s equals to ut plus half at square. Now as you all know s means h in this scenario u is 0 whereas a equals to g. Putting all these values in this equation we shall get h equals to 0 into t plus half gt square. So, h comes here, 0 into t, t becomes 0 plus half gt square. Hence, I am getting this equation half gt, h equals to half gt square. 
Now coming to the third equation of motion which is v square equals to u square plus 2 as v square equals to u square plus 2 as. So again we all know the values u's value is 0 s becomes h and a becomes g. So again replacing the values of uh, u s and a we shall get v square equals to u square which is 0 square plus 2 g h means uh, 2 a s becomes 2 g h hence I shall get v square equals to 2 g h. This was the first scenario. Now going to the next scenario the next scenario is but if the initial velocity of fall of the body is u then the equations of motion will become this right will become this let us see how here in this condition the object is already falling down already falling down where it will have some initial velocity let it be non zero okay so let it be u only here let it, let us consider it to be u okay so when the object is falling obviously it's acceleration due to gravity acceleration will be g which is acceleration due to gravity and let it cover a height h while falling so under this situation when the ball is already falling right let us see how will the equations of motion take the form so if we consider the first equation of motion which is v equals to u plus a t here a equals to g which is understood right so my equation becomes v equals to u plus g t a equals to g so v equals to u plus g t second equation which is s equals to u t plus half a t square becomes h equals to u t plus half g t square because i have to replace s and a s becomes h whereas a becomes g let us see the third let us see the third equation of motion which is uh, v square equals to u square plus 2as here in this case as you know a becomes g whereas s becomes h so replacing the values of a and s we shall get v square equals to u square plus 2gh so i hope you understood the second scenario also now coming to the third scenario the third scenario is if a body is thrown vertically up and an initial velocity sorry with an initial velocity u to a height h there will be retardation that is a equals to minus g then the equations of motion will be this here so again let me explain how will the equations of motion will take this new form so in this case an object is thrown upwards such that it reaches a height h at this height you all know this after reaching this point it has to come down right so let the object reach this height okay h right and suppose it is thrown with the initial velocity u right so distance covered will be h i hope you understood whereas a becomes minus g because as the body goes up you all know this its acceleration will be minus g as we have done in the previous video so here you can see the first equation of motion will take the form v equals to u minus g t so u comes here and a becomes minus g a becomes minus g now the second equation of motion which is s equals to u t plus half a t square will take the form s becomes h u and t remains same now a becomes minus g therefore plus into minus i shall get a minus sign here you can do the calculation half g t square and the last equation will take the form v square equals to u square minus 2 g h because a becomes here a becomes here minus g whereas s becomes h i hope you understood this scenario now 
taking this all these uh, conditions okay the especially the last one we are trying to calculate the height traveled by the body the total distance traveled by the body the time taken by the body etc which is shown in your book so we have done till the various forms of equations of motion for different cases for different scenarios now from this scenario okay when the object is thrown upwards right when the object is thrown upwards right it will reach a certain height let that height be maximum height at this height my final velocity should be equal to zero because if it cannot stop then the object will further go up that will not be maximum height so after this point it has to fall down so now i am supposed to calculate this maximum height with the help of those equations which we know at the highest point v equals to 0 at the highest point v sorry at the highest point v equals to 0 therefore for the maximum height that is h max i can use this uh, equation of motion which is v square equals to u square minus 2gh so replacing the values of v square u square and g uh, h etc we shall get 0 square equals to u square minus 2gh max so 2gh max will give me u square after further solving so my final expression will be h max equals to u square upon 2g after the cross multiplication so last one this one this one is the expression for the highest height a body can attain when thrown by a certain velocity u so this proves that if you throw an object uh, with a high initial velocity the object will have tendency to reach higher height so which might be your common experience also so now let us try to calculate the time taken by the object to reach that height now time taken to reach the maximum height v equals to u minus gt v equals to u minus gt so again the final velocity was 0 so 0 equals to u minus gt again gt equals to u therefore t equals to u upon g after the cross multiplication now this was the time taken to reach the maximum height from the ground right the time taken to reach the maximum height from the ground but as you all know the object will come back right so so there will be time taken to go up and there will be time taken to come down as well so what will be the total time so total time taken for the journey that is to go up and then to come down will be t dash equals to this u upon g plus u upon g because since the acceleration uh, is same in both the cases it's just the direction is different so uh, the time taken to go up and to come down should be same because the acceleration is uniform so total time t dash will be u upon g plus u upon g which should be equal to 2 u upon g right so this is the expression for total time taken now we can calculate the total distance covered by the object in the whole journey now as you know the object goes up right and then falls down so total distance covered will be this height plus this height h plus h which is maximum height so total distance covered shall be h dash equals to h max plus h max which will be equals to u square upon 2g plus u square upon 2g if you remember if you can rewind the video and watch h dash value uh, sorry h max value sorry h max value was u square upon 2g h max value was u square upon 2g so if you add 2 h max you will get u square upon 2g plus u square upon 2g so which uh, after which we shall get uh, 2 u square upon 2g 2 and 2 gets cancelled hence the total uh, distance traveled by the object during uh, when during its uh, free fall and when it is thrown up will be u square upon g